This book is being read with permission from HarperCollins Publishers. Hello, my fun-loving reading friends. It's Ani. Thank you for coming to read with me. Are you ready for a story? Today I've got a fun Valentine's book about our friend Pete the Cat. It's called Pete the Cat Valentine's Day is Cool. If you have a copy, go get it so you can read along with me. Pete the Cat, Valentine's Day is Cool, by Kimberly and James Dean. It was the day before Valentine's Day, and Pete was riding his skateboard home when he saw his friend Callie. She was holding a big red heart that said, Love. Have you finished your Valentine's Day cards? asked Callie. No. Valentine's Day is not cool, Pete said. Oh, Pete, Valentine's Day is my favorite holiday. It's a day to tell people how special they are to you, Callie insisted. Pete skated on, but something in the back of his mind told him that Callie might be right. By the time Pete got home, he had decided that Callie was right about Valentine's Day. So he got out his pencils, paper, crayons, and markers and sat down at the kitchen table. First, Pete started to work on a card for his friend Larry. Pete made several cards with big red hearts, but he was not happy with his work. Pete wanted to make the perfect cards for every cat in his class. I'll never get all these cards done in time, Pete told his mom. Pete's mom smiled. Just do your best, she said. Just tell Larry why he is cool. There is something cool about every cat. Pete got back to work. He thought hard about what was cool about Larry. To Larry, happy Valentine's Day from Pete. Perfect, Pete said. Can you tell what Pete thought was cool about Larry? After that, it didn't take Pete long to make cards for all the boys. Then Pete made special cards for all the girls and wrote, Love Pete, on each one. And of course he made the biggest heart-shaped card for his mom. The next day, Pete and Callie waited for the bus together. I decided you were right. Valentine's Day is cool. That's awesome, Callie said. By the way, I'm having a Valentine's Day party at my house after school if you want to come. The bus pulled up then and Pete and Callie got on. Mr. Ted, the bus driver, smiled and said good morning. But as soon as they were in their seats, Pete put his head in his paws. What's wrong? Callie asked. I forgot to make a card for Mr. Ted, he cried. Then Pete thought, but I can make him an awesome card before we get to school. Pete pulled out a piece of paper and colored pencils from his backpack. He began to draw. Happy Valentine's Day! Thanks for picking us up every day for school, Pete and Callie said as they handed Mr. Ted his valentine. Thank you, Mr. Ted told them. You just made my day! What about Mrs. Gold, the crossing guard? We need to make her a valentine, too, Pete practically shouted. Let's do it, Callie said. Let's make valentines for everyone. Pete and Callie got super busy making cards for everyone. After school, Pete went to Callie's party. He rang the bell, and then he froze. Callie opened the door only to find her friend in a panic. What's wrong, Pete? I forgot something very important, Pete admitted. What? Callie asked. I just realized I forgot to make a card for you, Pete said. That's okay, Pete. Cards are just a way of showing you care. Hanging out with you? That's way better than any card. This is the best Valentine's Day ever! 
And happy Valentine's Day to you! Love, Pete! I hope you enjoyed our story today. See you next time.